you guys getting ready to do your reading. This is for the first part of June. We'll see what comes out in the cards for you. What's in line for your sign? Okay, so we have the page of coins. So let me check to make sure that's not blurry. Queen of Cups. You may get a message from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone who's very loving, kind, sweet at this moment. They're trying to be reach out to you because you also have the Ace of Coin. Um, eight of Coins. So it can be work related. Nine of Cups. You may really like this opportunity. Ace of Swords. Wow. This could be a new opportunity with love. Magician. Take action. Energy around you. Ten of Coin. The Hierophants and your hopes or fears. Whatever reason though, your outcome is the Nine of Swords. I don't. Oh no. The devil. Okay, don't get stuck in your thoughts. Okay, so this could just be thoughts. Don't overthink anything. You may be worried about this uh, opportunity. Because underneath the deck is the sun. So, the devil can mean negative thinking, negative thoughts. Okay, who is this page of coin? This could be a child thing of the page. Ace of Cups. So no, it could be new love. So maybe you get a, a message from someone, someone being, you know, that wants to go out with you, someone new. Queen of Cups could be a water sign. Seven of Coin. Maybe you felt like you've given up on love. Ace of Coin. Again, there's that Queen of Cups again. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces are my water signs. Can be a king or queen, of course. Eight of Coin, Six of Swords. Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, The Sun. Okay, this is a great new beginning. Magician is action, taking it, grabbing hold. Three of Cups is having fun. It can mean dating. So there could be someone asking you out on a date. Maybe you're worried about something. You know, not, um, you see, Ten of Coin, Justice, Hierophant. Five of Swords. That's your hopes or fears. So you're worried about something. That's kind of weird. You're worrying. Got the devil, which to me is saying you're just trapped in your negative thinking. Temperance. Be patient with yourself. Page of Swords. Broken Heart. Strength. Hmm. And under the deck again is the Sun. Burdens. You feel burdened right now for whatever reason, but things are going to work out. So I feel like in this spread, Ten of Wands could just be your own mental thinking, things that you're worrying about, you're thinking about. I'm sure some of you do have other burdens with, you know, money, kids, work, exes, dating, maybe trying to find the right one. So at the beginning, at the heart of your spread is a message with the page of coin. And it could maybe seem like something that's too good to be true, or maybe you don't feel like you should trust it. And it could be from a water sign, or maybe someone, either you're looking at the invitation, or this person comes on, I kind of feel like maybe a little bit too strong. Like they come on with all the, you know, saying all the right things. Really, they're the wrong things. They, Because for some reason, the seven of coin, you're like, this again, do I have to put my energy and time into this again? Look at, the, look at him in the seven of coin. And it's like you're exhausted, and you're like, really? So it could be like you're looking at this person and you're thinking, hmm. Um, but it seems like someone who might be very sincere. Because when I look up here, we have the Ace of Coin. Again, a new beginning. It could be someone with some sub substance to them. Maybe they're not just what they seem on the surface. Like they're, you know, reciting poetry and saying all, you know, trying to be all slick. But maybe underneath it, they are very sweet. And they have, you know, maybe finances or they're, you know, they have, um, substance to back it up is what I'm like feeling. Like they want to offer you something and it's sincere. It's not just like sex. It's almost like it comes across as like, it's just let's sleep together. Hey, let's go out. Hey, you know, I'll take you to dinner or we'll go out. We'll have fun, whatever. But they have better, like bigger and better intentions here. Like they seem to be really into you. You got eight of coin in the bat, the past, and six of swords. I feel like at the eight of coin, you've been working a lot, either on yourself, on your, your thinking, or on a relationship, or you have just been working a lot, um, or going to school. 
and you are moving away from that for some, whatever reason not that you're not working on anything it's just like the mental stress it's like you're got you're kind of like you're in the flow it's kind of what i'm seeing here like you got things going on you feel like you got your life under control yeah you got a lot of birds got things to do but this person may come in and kind of disrupt that and be kind of like Because, look, they can make your dreams come true, but at the same time, the Four of Cups, you're kind of looking at this opportunity like it's fake or you don't have time for it or I'm too busy or it's just another person coming in and lying and saying the same stupid stuff. And I feel like you're going to possibly pass up this, this invitation. Maybe that's what you're moving away from. You're moving away from this new love, this invitation, because you're like, well, I'm too busy working. I'm too busy taking care of my kids or I'm too busy, you know, with my other goals. To, to even look at this opportunity. But I feel like this might be something that might make you very happy with the Nine of Cups. Because your outcome is a new start, a new beginning, and you'd be very happy with the sun. So it could be the combination of the work and effort that you've been doing on your life and this new person coming in could be a very compliment. Because you may have already had ideas of like, well, I'm going to be single and I'm just going to work and make money and not deal with love because I'm just tired of, you know, the people out there, the losers, not treating me right. It's just too much work. Love is just too much drama, too much trouble. Forget love. Forget it. But this is saying take action. Manifest. Do it. Three of Cups is my have fun. Go out. Go out to dinner. Go out to drinks. It can be my dating card. Um, just go ahead with this opportunity. It's what they're saying here. The energy around you is the Ten of Coin with the Justice. So it almost feels like this is someone with more substance. They have a family. They think they're thinking long-term thoughts. Ten of coin. When I do personal readings, I can see in someone. Sometimes when they have just three of cups, this is just a sleeping together card. Dating, sleeping together, just they want to have fun. If I get the ten of coin, I know that they do have long-term goals. They do want to get married or be in a committed relationship. They do want to build a home together, maybe have kids or travel or whatever it means to them. They have long-term goals and they want to commit. They want a commitment. And with justice here, it may be like a marriage with the justice, justice of the peace, or it's deserving, or this is what you need and want in your life, and you deserve it. So you may just be thinking, okay, let's just go out and have fun, but they actually have bigger plans. Because I can see here, it's almost like you don't see that at first. Maybe you just see the exterior of what they're saying or doing. You don't see what's in their heart or what their true feelings are, what they really want to do long term. Um, and you could, like I said, maybe Nine of Cups is you being, just being very happy right now on your own. You're working, you're doing your own thing. This opportunity comes in. You're like, I don't really need it right now. I, I don't really want it. I, I'm just, I'm good where I'm at. Okay, work is just, or love is just too much work. Because in your hopes or fears is, is maybe you are fearing marriage though. Maybe you are like, I don't want a commitment. I don't want someone telling me what to do with the five of swords. I don't need that shit in my life anymore. I'm just free, I'm happy. No one's here to tell me what to do. There's no drama. And so this is like, you're, you're, you know, afraid of this again, this type of relationship. So, but for whatever reason, what's funny is, and I can see here too, your past is page of swords, something bad, someone breaking your heart. It took a lot for you to get over this. So this is what's underlying why you're worrying so much. You're like, something about this person is going to intrigue you. You are wanting to go out with them, you're gonna, but you're going to start worrying about them. And you're going to go back into negative thinking with the devil. Or you're going to think this is another toxic, horrible relationship. Um, I feel like they're saying be patient with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot. You know, even though you feel like you're doing, you know, you are doing great on the outside with your finances and your life. You're getting things together. Um, underneath it, you have this pain that is being triggered or being remembered. And... To not worry, okay? This isn't the same thing. If Listen to your intuition, of course, at any time. And always follow it and trust it. But be patient with yourself. Go ahead and take this opportunity. If nothing else, go and have fun and get to know someone. Um, you don't need to commit. You don't need to have the Ten of Coin. You don't need to get married. You don't need any of that right now. But this could lead to something, because what the cards are showing me, that this could lead to something really wonderful. Something that you could really, I mean, you got Ace of Cups, Ace of Coin, Ace of Swords, something really new that's really great, is what I'm seeing. And yes, you are burdened, but Ten of um, um, Sun is like, no, this is great. This is wonderful. Let me turn that. So give it a chance, okay? Give this um, new person... The opportunity no matter how 
and they come across at first, just give them a chance. I feel like they have more substance than what they appear to have. And you might really like this, this, this guy or girl, whoever this is for you. So I hope that was clear, understandable, and would give you guys some clarity. Have a great week and take care.